I am coming to you from my kitchen today because we're gonna do another counting in the kitchen. I don't know if you remember the first one I made. We made a smoothie. But since we are in the prime of fall, I wanted to make a pie, an apple pie. We're gonna be doing some counting, some measuring, some baking. I have my apron on. Can you guys see it? It even has pockets. So I'm gonna put my hair up and I'm gonna get ready to make an apple pie with you. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna need is a pie shell. And I made this earlier today. Don't worry, I washed my hands. You can buy one at the store if you'd like. But let's put this back in the fridge and let's cut some leaves out. Yeah. So here's our cookie cutter that we're gonna use to cut some leaves out. Does this look familiar to you? Yes. It looks like the leaves that we had on our leaf hunt. Pointy sides, right? How many leaves do you think we'll get? Five? Six? Ten? We'll have to wait and see. And here they go, all of our leaves that we cut out. Now we're going to take all of the extra dough out from around them. Let's get it all out. Cool. You can start to see our leaves. And we're going to use these leaves to put on top of all of the apples for our pie. This looks awesome, you guys. Now I'm gonna put these awesome leaves on a cookie tray and then we're gonna put them in the fridge to chill. Here they are, all laid out. But let's count them before we put them in the fridge. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Good counting, you guys. So now I'm gonna put these in the fridge so they can chill out for a second and let's move on to our next ingredient. Here they are, our next ingredient, these red, beautiful apples. I have to peel them before I use them and cut them up. But let's count them before we do that. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. I peeled them and I went ahead and cut them into slices. Next, we are going to put the rest of our ingredients in and mix it all up. Ready? One cup of sugar. Let's dump that all in. Yes. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. One. Two. One teaspoon of all spice. One. And then our lemon juice. We're gonna squeeze all of that in there and get as much juice out as we can. Here we are. I made sure to take out all the seeds. So let's just dump all that juice in there. And now we're just going to mix everything up until all the apples are covered in a nice coating of sugar. Just like this. So we have our apples covered and look at how 
everything liquefied. The sugar, the cinnamon, the allspice, and the lemon juice. So yummy. So I'm going to mix it up for a little bit and then take the pie shell out of the fridge and we're going to dump all this yumminess into the pie. Here's our pie shell that I took out of the fridge. So it's nice and chill. And next we are going to dump all of our apples that we just mixed inside of our pie shell. Wow, look at all that juicy yumminess. Whoops, I'll get that later. Let's make sure we get everything in there every single drop all right now I can sort them and make sure there's no big holes anywhere I've been washing my hands throughout this whole process so my hands are clean let's get all of these delicious apples in place so I cut up some butter and we're going to put them inside where all the apples are. We're just going to place little bits of butter all around. Just stick them wherever you want. Nowhere in particular, just wherever you find room. Mm, I can almost taste it. Now we're ready to put our leaves on top. Got them out of the fridge and we're just gonna place them on top of the pie any which way you like. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I love about making pies. They don't have to be perfect, just however you feel is right. Now our last step, we have one egg and a little bit of sugar and we need a brush. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. Let's crack the egg, get it in the bowl, make sure there's no shells. And then we're just going to go ahead and whisk the egg up. All right, that looks ready. So now we're going to take our brush and dip it in the egg and brush our pie. Just like this. Nice and easy painting the pie. I love this part. Okay, so we're done painting the pie. Now we're going to put a little bit of sugar on top, sprinkle it all over the top of the pie as much or as little as you want. Here it is, our finished product. We're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna wait for about an hour until it's done. <gasps> it's done! Look at this beautiful apple pie that we made. Wow, look at that. Thank you so much for helping me out. This is one of the most beautifulest pies I've ever made. Thanks to you and all your help. Mm, now for the best part. Yummy. Hey. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Goodbye.